This is the new iPhone 14 and 14 Plus. That's right, we have a new big screen iPhone, which, yay, that's great news. But boo if you're a fan of the iPhone mini like I was. It's no longer in the lineup and it's being replaced by this new model. Hi, my name is Patrick, and I spent a few minutes hands on with the new iPhone 14 and 14 Plus, and I have lots of thoughts. First, we gotta talk about this iPhone 14 Plus. It means you can get a big screen iPhone for under a grand, and that's a huge deal. But as far as the regular iPhone 14, you might be wondering what's the difference between it and the iPhone 13. And while they might look identical, there's a lot of small improvements on the inside. So let's break down the brand new iPhone 14 and 14 Plus. Let's jump right into it. The new iPhone 14 starts at $799 and the 14 Plus at $800 and $99. The 14 has a 6.1 inch display while the bigger 14 plus has a 6.7 inch display. The same size display that's found on the 14 Pro Max. Unlike the Pros, the 14 and 14 plus still have a notch, but it is the smaller notch that debuted on the iPhone 13 series. Both phones come in five different colors. You have blue, midnight, starlight, product red, and purple. And when I was looking at the purple hands-on, it's very light, almost like a light lavender color. The 14 and 14 Plus are powered by last year's A15 Bionic chip. Now, this is the same up-spec one that was in the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. That A15 Bionic chip, when you combine it with iOS 16, results in 18% faster speeds, according to Apple. But speaking of fast speeds, if you want to be up to date on the latest about the Apple event, everything announced there, our reviews for the iPhones and Apple Watches, make sure you're subscribed to all things CNET. And now let's talk about the cameras because there's some pretty big updates there as well. The 14 and 14 Plus also debut a new processing photo technique that Apple calls photonic engine. And that's a fancy term for the fact that these cameras can perform better in low light situations. So if you're taking a photo in a dim situation, it'll come out cleaner with less image noise. Also, both phones get a new mode called action mode. And what this does is when you're filming video, it helps stabilizes that image even more. In the footage we saw, we saw a guy doing parkour and the cameraman was parkouring along while filming him. I might not put it through the same tests, but I'm assuming if you're walking and filming, it should help keep that video looking as smooth as butter. Both the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus come with two years free emergency SOS via satellite service. The iPhone 14 launches on September 16th, the 14 Plus on October 7th, and both phones are available to pre-order starting September 9th. I'm excited about both of these phones and I can't wait to get my hands on them to test them and put together an in-depth review for each. But until then, I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think about the new iPhone 14 and 14 Plus? Is there one you're gonna pick over the other? Throw your thoughts in the comments last. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and thank you for watching.